All right, let's stop farting around. Let's fucking stop scribbling. See if we can come up with something. I fucked this up. All right then. And there we are now, you see. For fuck's sake. Right. Has this tape stayed down in that crevice? Doesn't look like it, there we go. I don't fucking know. This could be, again, this could turn out to be a bleeding disaster. We'll just have to see, won't we? Oakley doakley. Now, if I want it to come up to about here, I want it to terminate about there. See at a corner. All right. Yeah, basically, just do that. Broadly speaking, we all wear masks. Figuratively speaking. And I'm guessing I want it to be under the sea in an octopus's garden. I want it to be kind of starting in the centre, in the front, right? Because that's where it's going to be the most obvious. See, I've got to try to bear in mind that I want to, I need, I'm going to need to get a Stanley knife in there. Shit, I haven't got a rubber. But the baseline, yeah, so if I've got the baseline, yeah, for the base of all the flames are around about the same point. Hmm. I want these to remain vertical. See, I'm going on the cock there, aren't I? I need a fucking rubber. How'd you get the car so straight in your shoes? Starch. I don't, you know, I don't want to make these too fucking intricate because I have got to go around this with a Stanley blade. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too basic. I want it, I want it to be eye catching. Bugger me, I reckon that's about about right. How many have we got on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? For something I pulled out my ass on the fly, I think that looks pretty good. So the thing to do, I guess, would be to go around it in pen. And uh what the fuck? I ended up doing almost exactly the same thing either side there. Madness. Uh, go around it in pen. Now give me a nice solid line to follow with me Stanley blade. <laughs> Looking pretty mean already this, isn't it? I hope this all goes to bloody plan. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking, by the way. If he's going around that with a Stanley blade, he's going to fuck up the paint underneath. 
And yes, I will. When I, when I cut this with a standing knife, I will be badly scoring the black underneath. But because this paint is purely decorative and we're not protecting steel from rust or anything like that, it doesn't matter. If this was a car that you gave two shits about, uh, obviously you would do it differently. You would, you would produce the stencil before you stuck it on. Excellent. All right. Gray and gray and gray and gray, gray and gray and gray. I can sing a wood louse. <sighs> right, I'm going to do a few more details in here. I want this to be a, a, a sort of row. Where's my pencil? A row that goes like this. See, in my imagination, right, the, the outer perimeter is going to be white. I don't know whether I'll be able to do that. Then yellow, then, then here I want, in, in the, you know, in the, in the bits and at a certain distance, it's, uh, 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 come on, you spaz, um, orange, right? Where is the fish? I'll do the bottom bits first. That should give me an idea. Give me a start off a ten. Funny thing about masking tape, in it, it ain't, it don't stick very well. That's the whole idea. You see, the idea is you're supposed to be able to pull it off. Um, but ironically, that, that can sometimes lead it to not stick in the first fucking place. Proper one. Okay. All right. Well, okay. The base needs to be block white. So first things first, I need to take all of this off. Spray it white. Spray it yellow. And then stick that back on, but relieve these holes, and then spray that orange. Yeah. Anyway, first things first, I need to go around it with a Stanley blade. Is this the time to do it? I think it must be. <sighs> Hold on to your butts. A little prison shank there, so I can hold it without cutting my fucking cell. Yes, I'm already starting to regret the intricacy with which I drew these flames. But here we are, in for a penny, in for a pound. Now I realise I must be tearing up the paint underneath. I'm hoping that when I put the next layer on, whatever damage this would have caused to the black will be filled in and repaired. Definitely harder to <clears throat> it's definitely harder to follow the lines here than I thought it was gonna be. You would have thought that cutting paper with a standard knife would be easy, wouldn't you? But there's something about the paint underneath, I guess, the glue on the tape perhaps. It's difficult to get a to maintain a constant pace. See, just slip there. Thank you. 
Mushrooms me right up on a cloud and a bomb baby little. Right now, correct me if I'm wrong, but now it's time to peel the bottom stencil off, isn't it? Oh, I need to save all of this, don't I? Now here's my handy dandy trick for saving stencils, right? I'll get some baking paper so that when I pull the stencil off, I can just lay it here and save it. Oh man, don't tell me this has become petrified. Sometimes if you leave masking tape on something for long enough, it can glue permanently. Oh, I remember one time my mate was painting the interior of his camper van. He left masking tape on all around the windows. There was something happened and we had to get the window open sharpish. A fire of some sort, you know, like someone had dropped a fag end or whatever. And, uh, we could not open this window for love nor money, and it, it turned out the only thing holding it closed was just one solitary piece of masking tape that had fossilised. Ah, bastard! Always take care around Stanley Blaze kids. Cross your fingers, toes, eyes, arse cheeks, and fucking jeb end. Let's see how this goes. Oh, the paint's coming with it, you fucker. Right, I think what I need to do is cut this on the corner so I can peel each flat surface off at a time. I don't think I'm going to be able to go around that bend. Where's my friggin' thumb stabber? That ain't working as well as I thought it was going to, is it? But, yeah, such is life in Moscow. Well, he taught me how to hurt real bad and cry myself to sleep. Something, 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 broken dreams. I need your claws, your boots, and a five day course on how to spray paint. getting there I mean that's not perfect but it ain't too bad I reckon I reckon I reckon this should turn out looking quite nice thanks for watching I've been chatting squit uh, like comment subscribe please do subscribe it takes about two minutes to make a YouTube account and it will be doing me a real favor catch you next time